Stewart, Riddles, Jock, Movies, Plays, Folklore, they are all part of one thing that is called popular culture. So, every, anything that is in reach of many people, common people, and uh, that people regularly see, watch, or read, and that is orally transferred, we can include it, we can bracket it in popular culture. So, proverbs are one of them. We are an oracy based society. Literacy, Likna Parna, and oracy from oral, Bolna. So, our society, historically speaking, our culture is oracy based means we love to talk. We love conversation. Wherever we are, in home, outside home, in street, in park, in office, everywhere, we love to talk. We love to talk with each other and share proverbs and anecdotes, short stories with lessons mostly and jokes whenever we uh, talk during our everyday activity. So, proverbs are a popular form that is part of our daily conversation. These products of popular culture influence our thinking and can be used for stereotyping. Why and how? They are metaphorical in nature, first of all. Metaphorical means we never take their literal meaning. Lafzi matlab nahi hota unka. Like a metaphor, istiare ki tara. Their meaning is non-literal. Majazi mana hota hai. One thing. For this reason, we find them in dictionaries. And there are separate dictionaries of proverbs as well. I would introduce one in this module. They facilitate understanding of difficult concepts of culture. This is the reason that people like them. There are many aspects of human life which are sometimes difficult to understand. A single proverb, when quoted, can solve the problem. They are so pithy, so comprehensive, so uh, message oriented that are uh, thinking problems are resolved within no time. So that's why people love them. And one who knows proverbs is uh, regarded as very wise person, very logical person. We use them to support our point of view. When in argument, here too, we quote them. Proverbs are taken as why logical and why uh, we uh, use their support because they are regarded as collective wisdom of generations. They are taken as folk wisdom. And uh, because of this, because of this factor, they become authoritative, authentic, and they are taken as truth. We use them to pass judgments on others sometimes, even they are used in evaluation of people. Some authors claim that proverbs target women and promote stereotype review. Some people think that proverbs also take part in stereotype. Okay, they have data to support their point of view. For example, here are some Urdu proverbs. This is Chisme Chamak Nahi Wo Hira Nahi Chisme Damak Nahi Wo Arat Nahi This proverb is about women. And see what is stereotype in it about women? That Woman should be beautiful. 
سی این ادر برور عورت کی پکڑ اور عورت کے مکر سے اللہ بچائے تو دس از نیگیٹو اسٹیریو ٹائپ آف وومن دے آر کینگ ٹریچرس اوکے اکارڈنگ ٹو دس پروور اینڈ آئی سی این ادر ہیئر بی سے کھیسے اینڈ سٹھا پٹھا بی سے کھیسے مینس اے وومن فیلز ویک ایون ایٹ دا ایج آف ٹوینٹی اینڈ اے مین از پٹھا یگ ایون ایٹ ایج آف سکسٹی سو ٹیریو ٹائپ مین آر ایکٹیو مین آر اسٹرانگ اینڈ ویمن آر ویک سیم ٹیریو ٹائپنگ از بینگ ڈن ہیئر دس از میٹر آف انٹرپریٹیشن پیورلی انٹرپریٹیشن ہاؤ یو ٹیک دیٹ اینڈ ان دا ویری بگننگ وی ہیو سیٹ اباؤٹ دس یوز آف لینگویج فار ٹیریو ٹائپنگ وی ہیو سیٹ دیٹ اٹ از اے میٹر آف انٹرپریٹیشن ہاؤ سچ کائنڈ آف لینگویج از انڈرسٹوڈ بائی مین اینڈ ویمن دیئر انٹرپریٹیشن وڈ ڈسائڈ ویدر اٹ از اے اسٹیریو ٹائپ ویو اور ناٹ آئی ریمائنڈ یو اور گیٹ ہیئر از این ادر جھگڑے کی ہیں باتیں تین زن زر اور زمین دس از اویئر تیسرا بیٹا راج رجائے رج رجائے اور تیسری بیٹی بھیک منگوائے نو لوگ دی اسٹیریو ٹائپ دیٹ ایف وی گیٹ اے تھرڈ سن وی گیٹ مور سپورٹ سن وڈ ان فار آر سن وڈ انکریز آر ویل اینڈ وڈ پروو اے سپورٹ ان اولڈ ایج ایکسٹرا ایکسٹرا But if there is third daughter, so we have burden of their marriage and uh, other uh, needs. Uh, so girls are a burden. So they would force us to beg. This is uh, the meaning. Uh, this is the stereotype conveyed. Women are burden. A liability on the shoulders of parents. Another few are here. آپ روشن لڑیں ویمن آر ویری کور السم ہر وقت لڑنے کو تیار اور آج کل بارہ برس کی بیٹیا بر منگے نو دی گرلز آر سو اوپن اینڈ سو ایم ماڈیسٹ دیٹ دے اوپنلی آس دیئر پیرنٹس دیٹ وی وانٹ میرج آگ لگانے آئی گھر والی بن بیٹھ کامن یو انڈرسٹینڈ ویمن ان دا رول آف انٹروڈر دوسرے کے معاملے میں گھسنے کی کوشش کرنا سملرلی آنکھ میں تھی شرم دل کی تھی نرم پازیٹیو سائڈ او وومن بٹ دس از a weakness according to feminists you see that here women are presented as very weak and modest and obedient and soft and polite and this is weakness according to them i be akila sab kamo mein dakhla now look they don't like on one side people say that women should not intervene in any matter of men and see this proverb says that women who think themselves akila very wise akal wali hai samajh ke apne aap ko and what is their wisdom they intervene in every matter without reason so similarly بڈی گوڑی لال لگام اینڈ بگڑا بیٹا اور کھوتا 
میں کھوٹا پیسہ بھی کبھی نہ کبھی کام آ جاتا ہے تو سنز آر نیور ورتھ لیس دس از ویریٹی آف میلس بہو رانی کنواری ساس رہی واری اور بہو رانی بیائی پر گئی پڑ گئی خواری لک ہاؤس مدر دل نا دے سچ ڈاٹرز ان لا دے لو ڈیم دے گیو ڈیم گفٹس جولری ایوری تھنگ دل بٹ دیئر ایٹیٹیوڈ چینج اے سون آفٹر دی ڈاٹر ان لا بیکمز اے بہو اینڈ دے برنگ دیم ان ہوم دیئر ایٹیٹیوڈ از چینج دس از دی میسج ایئر So we conclude that proverbs are taken as wisdom of generations and social knowledge. So they are very strong tool of stereotyping. Here is a task. Download dictionary of English proverbs. These were proverbs from Urdu. But you are students of English. So I would like you. to consult this dictionary uh, it is uh, op- it is open access uh, dictionary this is the address download it after that select 10 proverbs about men and 10 about women compare images of both sexes in english speaking cultures so that you may understand that this uh, stereotyping function of proverbs is not confined only to our culture.